So here we're gonna make our third salad of the day. Another quick, easy uh, salad. This one's, I wanna say, a little bit more refreshing. It doesn't have like a heavy sauce or creamy base. Um, and it's different than the other three. These have all been like nice little sides that all have very different, distinct flavors. This one is gonna be the Asian cucumber uh, side for salad. Um, yeah, I just really like it. I love cucumber, I love toasted sesame oil, which it has, it has fresh veggies. You can kind of switch it up. Um, I know there's a couple different ways to make this. You can do it super simple with just cucumbers and a sauce, but I like to add a little extra. I'm gonna add some red pepper to it, red onion, um, some fun colored radishes that I found, um, and some scallions, a little bit of garlic, cilantro. Yeah, let's bang it out. So I'm gonna grab my bowl. And I'm gonna give my peppers. This over here, it's all done. I'm gonna get my peppers. I wanna cut them up like pretty fine, because um, you want everything like this, this, this to be like super tiny and like biteable each bite. Um, so we're gonna start with the pepper first. Hey Maggie, welcome back. Are you done cooking? Has Satan powered you up in the sun? Ready to storm the castle? Again, if you want, you can use green bell pepper. It doesn't matter. I just think the red looks prettier with it and the contrast with the cilantro and the cucumbers. Um, but if you're cool with all green salad, you do you, baby. I know sometimes when people want to uniformly cut stuff, they're gonna cut out all these edges, make sure everything looks perfect, then cut it. Um, I don't want to waste stuff, so I'm going to use, you know, all the little curved corners. Everything's not going to be perfect, but they're all going to be about the same size, um, so I don't waste anything. Put the peppers in there. And we're going to take our radishes as well. Cut them into corners. I'm a real sucker for anything that says heirloom on it, like heirloom radishes, heirloom tomatoes. I think it's the white girl one. That's why we also love pumpkin spice. Everything. So next I'm gonna do some red onion, just a little bit of it. Hopefully dogs can eat radishes. Um, <laughs> so we're gonna do it super thin. I know red onion's pretty uh, potent, so if it is like a really potent red onion, I would suggest after you slice it, just to run it under some cold water and dry it off. That kind of gets some of the juices off so it's not overpowering the salad. Oh, it's a cold one. So we will wash this. Ooh! Oh, that was your face! Actually, no, we got a comb. Cucumbers. So there's different ways to do the cucumbers. Sometimes I've seen it where people put the cucumbers in like bags, smash it to release, release the juices. I'm just going to um, cut these in half. I'm gonna seed them just to get the seed out so it doesn't make the actual dish like super watery. The cucumber is still gonna release, release a lot of juices and that's gonna water down the sauce. So you kind of want to take out some of the wetness just so that it stays together better and the flavor stays like more condensed. So, put these. Um, these are little Persian cucumbers. There's all different types of cucumbers. I've made it with like a bunch of different ones. I personally just like these ones better. I think they're just a little bit more delicate. Um, See, so yeah, that's what I do. I'm gonna get a little spoon. I'm just gonna stand over the sink and remove some of my seeds. Take a minute. Whoa! Lost one. Man down. Man down. Got a little aggressive. Don't be that aggressive. <laughs> All right. You want something like that. That's all the seeds gone. Carving them out. Now, usually I take some of the seeds because I like cucumber a lot. 
and I just add it to my water. So let's keep our water. We have the rest. We have all our cucumbers set up. I'm going to leave them with the halves like this, and then I'm just going to uh, slice them thin into the oven for a while. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna add into here is some green scallions. Um, I'm just gonna use the, the top part, not the bottom, not the white part. Why not? Um, Cause it's a little too underneath. It's a little bit harsher. This is gonna be like a little bit um, softer, milder flavor, and I think it's just supposed to. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna pop these to look a little, little dead. Then I'm just gonna chop, give these a little, Baddies, a nice chop. And then we're just chop right there. And you can actually regrow these in like, if you just take these little butts, you put them in a cup of water, you can actually regrow your green onions. It may take six months, but you're gonna regrow three green onions in that time. All right, so I'm gonna add these in. You could also add these to like the actual dressing part and mix it all together. Let's go. I have some cilantro left over from before, so I'm gonna do a nice little sprinkle of that. So you got a lot of nice like bright herbs and stuff in this, and it's such a nice salad on a hot day. It's definitely something that you don't traditionally have a lot at barbecues that I've been to, so I think it's really fun to try something new, um, change people's like the palate's up a little bit, you know. I can only eat so much mayonnaise-based potato salad or noodle salad. I like to bring something a little different. People might be suspect, like, what's that? But I'm like, just try it. You might like something new and just have fun with it. I'm not gonna poison you, unless you do something to me. Which is it Just bang it out, man. Just bang it out. Woo! Um, oh, I'm gonna do the garlic press. So I'm gonna press a little bit of garlic into the dressing. I'm gonna make the dressing now. So we have the whole base ready. Now we're just gonna put together the dressing, toss this. It's served best like right away. This is actually something like you don't wanna like chill for too long or uh, like sit and marinate. Just cause the salt, the pepper and stuff I'm gonna add to it is gonna draw out the moisture. And like I said before, it's gonna kind of water down the sauce. So this is something you just wanna make and just serve right away. I'm just gonna do one garlic cube, glue. Use the back side of the knife to do this, not this part, because then you're gonna scratch it. And dull your knife. I'm going to do, oh, two tablespoons. Yeah, a tablespoon of soy sauce. Vinegar, rice wine vinegar, rice vinegar. I'm going to do one of the toasted sesame oil, which I love. And then we're gonna add some honey. You can add sugar too if you, or I like honey or I like sugar. It just brings a little sweetness. I'm gonna give it a nice squirt. Do some toasted sesame seeds. Add a couple in there too. It's nice. And some salt. Some pepper. The soy sauce has a lot of saltiness to it, so you don't need a lot. Little black pepper. And 
just like this. Get together, give it a taste, see if it needs anything. Whoa. It's gonna happen. Thanks, Amazon. Thanks, Amazon. Thanks, Bezos. Is it Bezos? Bezos? Jeffy. Right. Make sure you get all the. I started wearing aprons recently. It's a new thing for me because I ruined about a million shirts. I just would have like grease stains on them. And I'm like, this is my favorite t shirt. And I'm like, maybe I should wear an apron when I cook. my labor. you can bring to like a potluck or a barbecue that's not going to be super expensive. It's not going to take three hours to put together. It's whole ingredients minus the Italian dressing, which you can make yourself. I just use bottled. Um, that people are going to like. It's a little bit of each thing that had a different flavor profile. They had like a different inspiration and they all each took under what? 20 minutes to put together and they're all tasty. And it'll all be impressive to your fellow potluckers. Yeah, they're... You open a can of Bush's baked beans and put it in the pot. Meh. <laughs> okay. No one's gonna be like... First off, I've done that. And people are like, your beans are so good. And I'm like, they're from a can. Yeah. The <laughs> secret ingredient... Is the can. Only that golden retriever knows. Yeah. The commercials, so. <laughs> so, 